Success and Disaster, a thrilling documentary by Alex of England, C. Money, Wand Easy, and Nathaniel Rapanis. History is composed of many events, and American history is no different. Each event that has landed a spot in history textbooks or on the local news has had one thing in common. Each of these historical events can be categorized as a success or disaster. The Apollo 11 space mission, Challenger explosion, and the Oklahoma City bombing help historians see American unity through both success and disaster. An example of American success is the Apollo 11 space mission. It was such a pivotal moment because it was the first time humans had ever set foot on the moon. On July 20th, 1969, Hundreds of thousands of Americans watched as the Saturn V SA-506 rocket took flight from the Kennedy Space Center on Mare Island, Florida. The Apollo 11 crew was made up of three men, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edwin Buzz Aldrin. Once they reached the moon, the day after they had launched from Earth, each man spent almost two hours exploring and collecting data from the surface of the moon. Around 50 pounds of lunar material was collected during this mission. When looked back upon, Buzz Aldrin described the moon simply as magnificent desolation. Neil Armstrong is also famously remembered for uttering the words, that's one small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. This embodies the success that the U.S. felt along with the astronauts of Apollo 11. A sense of unity also existed in the U.S. after Apollo 11 occurred. During a time when many citizens opposed of each other's views because of the Vietnam War, the great success of Apollo 11 brought Americans from all over together. People celebrated the three astronauts trip to the moon by cheering for them at large parades in New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. These celebrations helped many Americans to feel a deep sense of pride as well as patriotism. This unity was not only held in America though, as Buzz, Neil, and Michael spread the joy of their mission across the world. The astronauts visited 25 countries in only 45 days, including England, where they met Queen Elizabeth. Their daring efforts to visit the moon, along with NASA's hard work, show that U.S. unity can be provided through great successes. Another major space event took place in the 80s. This was the Challenger explosion. Challenger was NASA's second space shuttle to enter into service. It had made nine trips to space since its first voyage on April 4th, 1983, before it made what would be its last trip in January of 1986. The last Challenger voyage held seven members in its crew upon launch. One of these members was a 37-year-old high school teacher from New Hampshire named Krista McAuliffe. She had earned her spot in the crew through NASA's Teacher in Space program. Before the mission, she reflected how Apollo 11 had inspired her to go into space by saying, I told them how excited I would be to go to space and how thrilled I was when Alan Shepard made his historic flight. And when John Kennedy announced on the news that the men had landed safely on the moon and how jealous I was of those men. Sadly, Krista, along with the rest of the Challenger crew, was not able to achieve their goal of reaching space when their shuttle instantly exploded only 73 seconds after takeoff. This left millions of Americans and other people worldwide who were watching in complete shock. With the nation devastated, Ronald Reagan ordered a special commission to investigate the cause of the Challenger space mission explosion. What this investigation found was also shocking. It turned out that Morton Thiokol, the company responsible for designing the rocket, ignored warnings of issues that may take place upon launch. NASA managers also knew of these potential issues, yet failed to report them. This in turn led to a gas leak that caused the whole entire shuttle to blow up. After the Challenger explosion, the families of the astronauts who had passed came together to form the Challenger organization. This provided many educational tools for students and families across the U.S. that could not afford them. Much like the families of each astronaut all felt pain, 
America was also unified after the Challenger explosion simply by the devastation most Americans felt alongside one another. Much like JFK's assassination and the 9-11 incident, most Americans could tell you where they were at when they first heard of the news that the Challenger explosion occurred. The funeral for the lost astronauts also showed how disaster can bring together unity as more than 10,000 people came to mourn the deaths of the crew. America suffered another devastating disaster on April 19, 1995 after a domestic terrorist bomb attack on the Alfred P. Murray Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma City. The effects of the bomb were brutal. 168 people were killed, over 680 people were injured, and 324 buildings within a 16-block radius were damaged, causing an estimated $652 million of damage. The bombers were Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols, and they performed this horrible act because of their hatred toward the federal government and the mishandling of the 1993 Waco Sage and Ruby Ridge incident. Both McVeigh and Nichols were tried and convicted in 1997. Later on June 11, 2001, McVeigh was executed by lethal injections, and Nichols was sentenced to a life in prison. Although this was a devastating time, Americans were still able to come together to help and support those affected by the bombing. National humanitarian response was immediate and almost overwhelming. Large numbers of items such as wheelbarrows, bottled water, and rain gear were donated. Also, the Salvation Army served over 100,000 meals and provided over 100,000 ponchos, gloves, hard hats, and knee pads to rescue workers. The Oklahoma Restaurant Association also helped out by providing 2,000 meals over a 10-day period to rescue workers. To add to that, over $40 million were donated to the city to aid disaster relief and to help victims. The Oklahoma City bombing is another prime example of how American unity can be seen in both a success and a disaster.